Marjex Guide, Part 3. How to set up stop loss, take profit, and partial closure. First, let's open a long position using a market order with isolated margin and 20 times leverage, with a leveraged order size of $2,000. In the previous lesson, we covered in detail how to open and close trades on Margex. Now that we've opened our long position, we anticipate that the asset's price will rise. To lock in profits at a specific level or limit potential losses if the price drops, Margex offers the tools Take Profit and Stop Loss. Let's take a closer look at each of these tools. On the right side of the open trade, you'll find the Take Profit and Stop Loss column. To use this tool, click the Add button. For example, if we want to lock in our entire profit and automatically close the trade at a certain level, we use Take Profit. In the pop-up panel, we can set a specific closing price or use the convenience slider to select a profit percentage at which we'd like to close our trade, effectively securing our profit. Great. Now let's visualize on the chart where and at what price movement our take profit will be triggered. At $59,006, our trade will automatically close, securing our profit. Next, Let's consider a scenario where we want to predefine a level at which we will limit our potential loss if the price moves against our trade. In this case, we've opened a long position. To do this, we need to set a stop loss. In the pop-up panel, we can set a specific closing price or use the convenience slider to select a loss percentage at which we'd like to close our trade, effectively locking in the loss. Good. Now, let's visualize on the chart where and at what price movement our stop loss will be triggered. At $56,961, our trade will automatically close, locking in the loss. In other words, by setting a stop loss in advance, you hedge your risk of losing the entire trade amount. If you want to partially lock in profits or limit losses, Margex offers a tool called Partial Closure. Suppose you've opened a trade and want to gradually secure your profit. Start by opening Set Take Profit and navigating to the Partial Closure section. First, select 25% of your order size to secure, then set a closing price or use the slider to choose a profit percentage. In this case, 50%. This means that when the price reaches $59,882, 25% of your trade will be secured. Next, set up another Take Profit Partial Closure by clicking the Add button. Choose 50% of the order size, then specify a closing price or profit percentage. Here, it's 100%, meaning that when the price reaches $61,343, another 50% of your trade will be secured. The chart will display the levels of your partial closures. If the price hits $59,882, 25% of your trade will close. If it reaches $61,343, another 50% will close. The remaining 25% must be closed manually unless you set a take profit or stop loss for the rest. It is important to note that these percentages apply to the initial leveraged order size. Now, if you want to limit your loss, open Set Stop Loss and go to the Partial Closure section. First, secure 25% of your order size and set a closing price or loss percentage. Here, it's negative 25%. So, when the price hits $57,691, 25% of your trade will be secured. Then, set up another stop-loss partial closure by clicking Add. Set 50% of the order size and a closing price or loss percentage. Here, it's negative 75%. When the price reaches $56,231, another 50% of your trade will close. The chart will show these levels. If the price hits $57,691, 25% of your trade will close. If it drops to $56,231, another 50% will close. The remaining 25% will need to be closed manually unless a take profit or stop loss is set for it. It is important to note that these percentages apply to the initial leveraged order size. By using stop loss, take profit, and partial closure, you can manage your risks and trade wisely on the Margex platform.